Okay, welcome to Upper Valley Yin Yoga. My name is Hannah. Let's get started. So with your pillow, we're really going to start out just sitting on it for comfort. It gives nice support and structure to the spine. So take your pillow and just go ahead, find a comfortable seat on it, letting your uh, legs just kind of fall off in another, in any comfortable way that is good for you. So legs can be crossed, they can be straight. Once you have found that position, go ahead and place your hands on your thighs. And we'll just start to settle in. So I invite you to close the eyes or take a heavy gaze down to the floor. And just start to tap into your normal breath rhythm. Yin yoga, for those of you that are joining for the first time, is a very slow practice using passive postures, so nothing will be very active or strength-based. Just a moment for you to simply relax into the deep stretch. Allow the body enough time to get deep into the connected tissues and let all those physiological things begin to relax and go on during deep stretching. From here, take a nice big inhale, feel the air through the nostrils, nice and cool. Exhale, feel the sensation of the warm air coming out of the mouth or nose. Your next inhale, lift the shoulders up to the ears. And go ahead and slot the shoulders down and back to create a little bit more length in the spine, a little bit more tallness down from the base of your seated position through the crown of the head. Take a few more big deep breaths. You can keep your eyes closed or simply just again have them nice and heavy, a little bit open. And what I want you to do is tall through the spine, take your gaze and head over to the right and just notice how far you can go. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take it over to the left. Maybe you see or sense a little bit differences in side to side mobility. Bring it back to center. Take an inhale, reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, drop right ear to right shoulder. Press the left shoulder down in a way to create lengthening. Take a few breaths here in stillness. Option to take the right hand and simply place it on top of the head. No need to press down. Just let the gravity and weight of the hand do its job. Take the hand away. From here, we're going to explore a bit, nice and slowly. Tilt the chin down just until you can see your armpit and your peripheral. And then slowly tilt the chin up, kind of to where your gaze is now, where the wall meets the ceiling. Continue this really slow back and forth motion, working through the left side of your neck. And when you notice one spot is tighter, or rather it's a bit more sticky to move through, take a moment in stillness, one to two breaths in that spot. And then move on and find the next. One more breath here. And then when you find your next inhale, bringing it back to center, lift through the crown of the head. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Right shoulder presses down and away. Left hand can come on top and rest. Take a few breaths in stillness. Hand comes down by the side. 
And let's go ahead and explore very slowly, tilt the chin forward so you can see just the armpit. And then tilting the chin up. Continue on this journey. Take a few breaths in those stickier spots. Stay tall through the spine, shoulders, chest. If you're having trouble finding any tighter spots, maybe just pick a spot on this side and take two deep breaths into it and see how that feels. Really invite every little bit to relax. Take one more breath where you are. In your next inhale, reach up once again through the crown of the head, stay tall, exhale, chin to chest. Take deep breaths through the cervical spine, filling up the back of the neck. Very slowly, let's sweep the chin across the chest, just to the edge of the right shoulder. And then very slowly continue, sweep across the chest all the way to the other side. Go as slow as you can. Use an inhale to sweep against one half of the chest and an exhale to move through the rest. You know the drill when you find that spot. Settle into it, breathe into it. Feeling the stress that we may be holding in our shoulders and letting it go first in our practice so that we're able to fully relax through the rest of practice as we hold so much of our tension in the shoulders and neck. Take just one more breath wherever you need to be. Once you finish that, meet back into the center of the chest. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift all the way up and shake it out. Let's go ahead, come off of our bolster and take it into a little bit more upper body. So I'm gonna have the bolster, or sorry, your pillow up at the front of the mat or the top of the mat. And we're gonna come all the way down to the stomach. And so if we don't have a pillow, we're simply going to take it into sphinx pose. So um, elbows underneath the shoulders, spread the hands nice and wide and press into the forearms, lifting through the chest and the crown of the head. Now this you'll feel a little bit in your hip flexors as well. If we have our pillow, we simply take our upper body, place it at the edge of our pillows and let our forearms relax there and straight arms through the hands to create a little bit more passive lift feeling. This position we won't hold as long as the other since it is a bit more active, but it's a great way to fully lengthen through the front side of our upper body. Take big deep breaths and reach through the crown of the head, open up through the chest by broadening the shoulders. And then we'll take it down and let's take our pillow up to the front edge of the mat. We are going to um, work on our shoulders and shoulder blades. So what I want you to do is take your left hand and place the forearm directly in front of you. And then your right arm is going to be placed on top of it. You're then going to start to, well first you're going to start to wiggle the left arm out so that you're just laying on top of it and your right arm is going to reach all the way forward. Now that pillow is great to rest your head on. Take a few breaths into this position and then I will show you how to get a little bit deeper. We're breathing into the left shoulder. We're allowing our hips to be heavy onto the mat, our shoulders to square off. 
Feel the air gum into the belly and rise up just a bit with each inhale. And with each exhale, you simply melt a little bit closer to the mat. If you're feeling you'd like to intensify this, take the right arm, bring it in and simply cross it over. So now you're giving yourself a nice big hug. It might look a little bit intense, but I promise you it'll feel very good. You can still use that pillow for nice support. So now you're feeling it probably a little bit more in the left side and even a little bit in the right side. If you don't want that pillow, you simply just rest your cheek or chin on the arms. A little bit extra tension there. Send the breath to wherever your body needs it the most right now. Yin yoga, we hold poses for a few minutes each because your body needs that amount of time to relax all the muscle spindles and their goldy, goldy tendon organs, all those things that create more tension and create more of a um, ricochet, if you will, as the body is not used to deepening these types of muscles through a stretch. So you gotta give it some time to relax. Take one more big deep breath here and see how heavy you can become through the upper body. We'll pick the head up and gracefully wiggle ourselves out. And we'll take the right arm closest to the body, left arm can be coming straight out. We'll wiggle the right arm all the way through and take it first to a little bit lesser intense of a position just so that our body can prepare. Big deep breaths through the right shoulder. And since we hold so much stress in our shoulders, you might find that it really does feel different on one side compared to the other. And so I really want you to respect how your body's feeling and only intensify this if you think you can breathe through it. So go ahead if you'd like to cross the left arm and give yourself that big hug, go ahead and do so now. to bring the elbows closer under the chest or even farther away from the chest of coming up towards the top of the mat. If it's not feeling good, you just kind of play around with where it needs to be. Take really one more big intentional breath and let the whole upper body just become completely heavy and then head into a little bit of a natural breath rhythm. Slowly pick the head up, wiggle yourself up. All right, let's take it to chest. All right, so left hand is going to come straight out. So pressing the left hand out, keeping the right hand in close to the shoulder, we're gonna press into the right hand and then take your right leg, cross it back either in a straight leg position or a bent leg position. So we are primarily opening the chest, but you also might get a nice little, you know, spinal um, opener or like a back crack and then off a little bit of some hip flexor action. So we're opening up the chest here, letting the head rest on the ground. Option to deepen this, take the right hand up and behind you to open up through both 
sides of the chest. If you want it a little bit deeper on the actual side we're stretching, simply come out of this position and you're gonna take that left hand, I'm gonna show you on this side, and you're gonna bring it to a 90 degree goal post. This is going to be very intense. So if you find you just wanna take straight arm at an angle up rather than straight out, you may. So if you take goal post, you do roll back over, but it's not gonna be as far. So really, again, just respect what your body needs. If you find that you've taken goal post and you're finding it difficult, to breathe into it, it means you might have gone too far. So find that comfortable position. Breathing through the chest and stomach. Take one more deep breath here. Let it all relax from head to toe. With the right hand placed back in its starting position, cross the right leg over, and your whole body will come down. From here, hands come into shoulders and down to hips. Place the right cheek on the mat. With each inhale, feel the breath through the stomach, lifting the upper body just a bit off the mat. And then exhale, sink deeper into the mat and it kind of allows your neck to get a bit of adjustment. Feeling heavy through the head. Bringing in that forehead back to mat, sweep the hands underneath the shoulders. This time, right arm comes out, press into the left, let the left leg cross back, either bent or straight knee, relax the head on the ground, and then settle into your final position. Big deep breaths through the chest. Also relaxing through the facial muscles, the cheeks, the mouth. One more big deep breath, let everything relax and then head into a natural breath rhythm. Left hand underneath the shoulder, cross the left leg back, sweep the hands into the body and down towards the hips. Left cheek comes onto the mat. Big deep breaths, fill up the belly. Exhale, feel the body sink into the mat and the head, just find a nice adjustment. Feeling fully connected to the ground beneath you. Feeling the heaviness of your body in a way that you might not have experienced in a while. Let the knees surrender and hang in the way they'd like to. Sweep the hands back up under the shoulders, tuck the toes 
and come up onto hands and knees. From here, we'll take it to a seated position um, with our legs narrow and our bolster for comfort. Two options here, take your pillow, put it underneath your knees to just kind of let some tension off your hamstrings and low back. Or option, take your bolster, place it in front of you um, if you'd like to come onto it. Or no pillow at all. So big inhale, reach through the crown of the head. And then listen very slowly to the cues. Drop the chin to the chest, but stay nice and tall through the spine. As slowly as you can, we're simply just going to roll through the spine. So we're getting basically an upper back spinal stretch and not so much a hamstring and calf stretch. So if your body allows you, begin to fold one vertebrae down at a time. Hands can be on the outside of the legs. And just let the head, neck, shoulders surrender down. If I can give you a different perspective, that might be helpful. Take big deep breaths into the back. Let the legs relax. Let them just fall out to where they need to be. With each breath, maybe you feel your body curving even a bit more. Take the hands and place them on the inside of the legs. Maybe that changed a bit of your heaviness, or maybe it did nothing at all. Now very slowly, we're going to come out of this just as we came in. So I don't want you to come up within a few seconds. I want you to take your time by stacking the vertebrae up and feeling each one for what it is. As slow as you can go, the chest begins to open. Deep breath at the top and relax, okay. Take our pillows down towards the bottom edge of our mat and we will come onto our back. So take a hold of your hamstrings and roll on back to the mat. We have one more position here and we'll start with the knees coming into the chest. So we have a nice little spinal twist. So rocking back to back and forth to start, kind of giving a massage for our low back. And then place the feet back down on the ground. Lift up the hips and glutes and shift them over to the right. Tuck the knees back in and let them drop over to the left. Arms come out to a T position, grounding the shoulders and gaze to the right. If you'd like to deepen this, taking your hand on top of the thighs, adding just a little bit of pressure through the spine. If this is too much, taking your bolster and placing it between your legs or under them completely for support. Take big deep breaths into the stomach, into our twisted intestines, into our spine. Continue to relax through the toes, the knees, the face.
One more deep breath, the left stomach, the chest. Gaze comes back to center, lifting one or both knees up at a time. Go ahead and reset the glutes to center. And when you're ready, pick them back up, shift them to the left, tuck the knees in and let them fall to the right. Arms come out to that T, gaze to the left, hands on the thighs if you'd like a deeper stretch or pillow, protecting the knees and legs if you need more support. Let the belly fill as much as it can. Head is heavy, still working through that neck tension. Not forcing anything, just realizing what our bodies are telling us and are capable of in this very moment. One more deep breath. Head comes back to neutral, lift it on up. And we'll head into Shavasana using our pillows underneath our back. So I'm going to disrupt you for just one moment so that you can take your pillow behind you and just kind of situate it so that you can have a nice chest opener. So really wanting your mid to upper back supported so that your arms can come either out to the side or up overhead, maybe grasping on to the elbows. Once you've reached here and settled into a spot that you'd like, find a good position for the legs, taking up as much space as you want to right now. Feeling vulnerable yet comfortable in the position you have chose for your final relaxation. Taking big deep breaths into the chest to allow for a deeper opening. Realizing that chest openers can be so important for our posture as we found ourselves in a rounded society or a hunched, pressuring world. And I invite you to think about how you can take the slowness of this practice into the rest of your evening and share it with those around you. To practice it during our work. To practice it in our personal relationships. And just understanding that slowness comes a lot with patience. Something that not always the easiest to practice. Go ahead and just find some rotations in the wrists, ankles, movement in the toes and fingers. And since this is upper body in, relax the limbs one more time, close the mouth and blow air into the cheeks to stretch out the cheeks. We'll just move the air around as much as you can. And then relax the cheeks and feel the sensations. Take a breath and then scrunch the face so that the nose and everything else come into center. So Scrunching the mouth up towards the nose, eyebrows in, really squeeze as much as you can, and then let it go. Big inhale, exhale. Reach all the way up ahead, 
full body stretch. Take the hands, intertwine them around the base of the skull. Inhale here. Exhale, lift the skull, upper body, all the way up into a seated position. Once you're there, reach the hands out to the side and take them up and overhead. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down to that heart center, nice and tall through the upper body. Thank you so much for taking the time to open up and difficult places. I hope you are able to take this with you for the rest of your week. The light in me honors, the light in you, namaste. So once again, thank you for coming to Yin Yoga. If you have any questions, I am here to